Hello, here we are, somewhat belatedly back for day four, episode five of the MHC. It's been a hectic time in the, what do we call ourselves, the ch the, the Cherry Heart household. Um, but I won't go into all of that, it's just that I'm about a day late getting things done. I realised at the end of last time I was not being the most efficient planting things on here. Uh, but I can sort that out later. What I really want to do today is go upstairs, uh, chop some trees, because I've almost run out of wood here. And I'm, I'm rising up in the lagoon now. Hopefully not to get... Ooh, I, I actually rise up under the overhang there, so it's very, very um, secretive, isn't it? Okay. We're up. Let's make sure there's no guys around that would like me dead. Can't see them. Um, while I'm up here, I'll probably expand that pond as well. It's not a pond yet, is it, really? Um, let's use my other axe. I don't want my main weapon to be um, used up too much. The trees are growing very nicely. That's great. Well, you, we certainly get the noises off when you uh, record in this house. And that was geese flying by. Okay. I've probably got... Oh, got an apple there. But I've got wood that I need. Let's see. Is it worth chopping down one more tree? Let's try and get this one down. Good. Um, got always got to. Of course, I've got the golden apple from my um, dungeon last time. Um, doop, doop, doop. Let's just sort a few things out. Right, twenty twenty logs. That was that was the thing I was really checking for. Um, replant. Always remember to replant. We want to have um, the trees continuing to come in. Another apple, good. Now, okay, so this, I want this to look more like a, a natural pond. So, a bit bigger than this, <laughs> I think. Um, is that gonna be sort of Maybe I want it kind of kind of looking as though it mm, yeah something like that. Let's gather up this sapling and now I've got another bucket, haven't I? That's good. Oh, I've got multiple buckets. So let's grab a bit more water. Let's start filling this place up so that it um, that should work like that put one in there okay sorry I'm being very concentratingly silent as I'm trying to get the water nicely um, nearly there, and oh, I've noticed I've got yeah, there, there pond. It's not completely done yet. Let's um, just pick up the rest of the saplings and apples that are around, and I can quickly do a bit more of a replant. So it's going to be quite nice, I think, if um, if we've got. A seemingly natural looking forest over this side. Because that's going to be the proof of the pudding when we get to the end of all this. Um, if. Yeah, there we go. If you come past this island, if I do a flyby on the last day, assuming I survive, then it would be very nice to be able to say. Um, you see, I'll, I'll just try making this a bit deeper like that, yeah? 
so it begins to look more and more like a real natural pond and it's down under the tree yeah as I was saying if if I come and do a flyby on the last day assuming I've survived and then say does it all look like a a, um, a natural untouched by human hand sort of area over here um, the next thing I really want to get on with now as long as that looks natural it doesn't look natural yet because I haven't Oh, it's starting to rain. How unpleasant. Right, we're only halfway through the day. Now, I wanted to make this look... Yeah, this does look like it could have happened on its own. Yeah. There we go. So while we're down here, let's, let's just take out this cobble. You wouldn't get cobble. Okay. Oh, a bit more. That's good. Now my home is over there. I should be able to whoop, get caught. Now and this bit of cobble's got to go as well. And those bits will have to go. I can hear a zombie. Now what I will be doing is... So here, here we are. Now, I'm going to make an entrance here. I mean, not like, hello, here I am, but no, I, oh, I've got a melon grown over there. Um, so food's coming along nicely. Yes, I'm going to make a piston-operated entrance over here. So let's, let's put things right, okay, in a sort of more controllable, organised fashion. Oh, got my extra little bit of gold that I was doing there. Fine. Um, I think, in some ways, probably the the garden, the the farm, ought to move away from the door a little bit because that's going to be a bit of a problem for me, isn't it? Where I wonder. Let's see, let's give yourself a little bit more headroom. I'm not going to bash through, as far as I know, into anything that's going to drop on me. I could even use that as the central lighting point of the farm, couldn't I? You won't need quite so much around me. Two! A second one has formed. Hmm, we have a variety of foods to eat. Okay, well, not that I'm even hungry right now. And they've got beetroots beginning to come in too. Oops, and a full inventory. So let's throw a few things into there. I think we'll we'll have to sort things out. Getting far too many things for one chest. Okay, well, I've got more than a stack of iron. That's amazing. I do need to go downstairs and get more redstone as well. Right, we'll do that soon. Um, yes, I I don't see why I wasn't planting the beetroots. Let's, let's take them up from here. Um, the beetroot can go in between rows. That That's not a problem. There's my precious potato. I need my precious potato to start growing. I also need to take it out of there when it grows and put it in a different row which can be the potato row. Okay, coal, coal's good. And also it gives me a place to... Oh, we've got a thunderstorm coming in. Crashing in. Wow. That. Have I got... I think I must have Ed's rainy day pack on in here. And that is the kind of thunderstorm that you get with his pack. Very atmospheric. 
not like the original Minecraft ones. It absolutely crackles and rumbles on. Right, well I'm downstairs. It's night time now, so I'm staying down here to start my construction. So, we need four pistons. Well, that's going to be too many. Uh, there we go, like that. I think I do need... Shush! Really? I'm not thinking I'm going to get any... Um, what do you call them? Slime. So I think the chances of me making um, sticky pistons is, is out. But... You know, ordinary pistons will do. I will need a bit more redstone, so I'll be going back down to the lower levels in a bit. Um, now, wow, absolutely cracking storm. Hope you're enjoying that. Right, what I will do now, let's see, where's the actual entrance going to be? Mm -hmm. I have to decide if the entrance is going to be there, then probably that's about right. If I put the pistons there, and then the other pistons there, obviously that doesn't stay there. Uh, oh, yes, I will need to cook up some smooth stone just so we can have a completely secluded entrance doorway. Now, how do we do this? That's, um, I think we'll be breaking things in there. We'll, when, when we come in, we want to be able to press a button and shut the door again. Button! That's the other thing. Right. Oh, it's smooth stone for buttons as well, isn't it? So, yeah, let's wait till some of this comes out of here. I think I actually need three buttons. Um, eventually. I hope you can still hear me over this. <laughs> so, right, so that's going to push like that, and that'll, that'll shut the door pushing it over to this side to, to block the entrance, because this is where the entrance is going to be, here. Then we'll have a mechanism to open the door coming from over here. Now, if we're on the inside and we want to open the door, we'll just have a button there, I guess. So, you can go, open the door, and it pushes things away. Okay. The clever bit of the mechanism is going to be on the outside. So if we say, this is where the door is now, um, let's tell you what. Wow, I wonder how long that st storm's going to go on for. It's just so cracking. Um, can you put a sign on the side of a piston like that? You can. Um, right. So that, that is the open button. There we go. And here's the actual... Here we go. That's going to be the opening itself. And then over here we'll have the... Now this is nothing secret at the moment. So that one closes it again. Now, this is just a simple door at the moment. But... The, the cleverness is going to come from when you're on the outside how do you um, operate the door and what I want to do is have actually it's probably going to have to go under here or something um, what I would really like is to have something which operates these by throwing an object down a little hole and it goes through um, it falls through a wooden pressure plate so I'll need a wooden pressure plate and let's see what else do we have goodness me now uh, a fence post is what I need I took a couple of fence posts I think or is it a fence post and a hole but I'll make a couple of fence posts anyway so fence posts go 
like that, don't they? Okay, and you end up with three of them. That's good. That's excess. Now that's got to be in a good position on the outside. So I kind of may not be doing that this this minute. Are there guys out here waiting to wish me a hearty welcome? You see, what I would do is just out here somewhere. Wow. Out here somewhere I will have a little place where I can throw things just into a little hole. It operates the pressure plate and then the pressure plate will run the redstone current and it will come up here and and push the door open. What we'll also do is we'll have another little button on, secluded out there somewhere that closes it again. So when you're leaving the house you can run out there and um, you can push a button that nobody else will re easily see and that will um, that will be closed again and secret. Um, I see my potatoes have started growing even. Right. Um, right. What I'm going to do, since we've not got very long to go, uh, I'm going to dump off some of my... Um, no, it's a crafting table. I'm going to make another chest. That's what I'm going to do. As I thought... Where shall I put another chest? Let's, let's, let's go over here somewhere. I'm going to say chest there to contain... Oh, I don't know. Maybe the mechanism things. Well, I'll put my, my golden apple in there as well. Let's, let's use it as a, a good place to put various things for the moment. I'm going to tidy up later. Pick up my button again. Um... Right, before the episode finishes... Um, right, potato. Oh, lovely. Got three potatoes out of that. And the potatoes will actually grow in this row here, I believe. Let's put them all in there to grow. Right, I, I'm going to finish the episode downstairs again, I, I hope. So let's go right down here. Uh, let's make a few more torches, just so we're not in any difficulty lighting up by the time we get to the bottom. Hmm. Oh, that was that place. What is that over there? Oh, excuse me with the... Um, I've lost my way. How did I get down to the really low levels? I didn't go through here, did I? I came in here, backed off. No, of course, I've, I've come down the wrong stairway, haven't I? Yes, absolutely. Right, what I should be doing is back here and then go down this stairway. Where did it go? There. We've had a storm virtually this whole episode. And then this was where I put out the little lava flow. That's where there's the lava popping away. This is where I left my workbench. This is where the dungeon was. And I left lots of iron that I really should have taken down from the ceiling. Oh, I accept. Uh -huh. There's open space up there. That's not so good. Let's just block that in. Okay, I need to be looking out for the changeover to the next day. Um, what's going on in there? Hopefully no one is going to kill me off just in here. It was only a little pathway. Whoa, that, 
<laughs> Jumps at a dandelion. Brilliant. Just as day five comes up. Okay, well, I will just make sure that this is looking relatively safe. I'll save it here. And there we are. We're making progress again. Please come back next time and see me as I try to continue my secret base. Bye-bye.